This collection of vintage ads from the past century might shock those with a sensitive disposition, so proceed with caution. These ads reflect a bygone era and would undoubtedly be banned today. In the 1800s, major pharmaceutical companies openly promoted the use of highly addictive substances, and until 1970, certain narcotics could even be purchased over-the-counter for common ailments. Ads for products like Ovaltine use the term gay in its original sense, meaning lighthearted and carefree, not as a reference to sexual orientation. Many ads of the past perpetuated harmful stereotypes. Women were often depicted as scheming to win a man's favor with tempting treats, and racial caricatures were used to sell products with black characters speaking in exaggerated dialects. Celebrities of the time also endorsed smoking, portraying it as a healthy habit. Some ads even targeted babies, suggesting cola as a suitable drink for infants. It's hard to believe, but in 1881, cigarettes were marketed as remedies for ailments like asthma, while dubious health claims were made about other products such as arsenic wafers for a clear complexion or cocaine tablets for hay fever and insomnia. If you had feelings, Lane Bryant had quite the way to put you down. Their ad referred to their clothes as charming, chubby-sized clothes. Many times doctors were seen in ads promoting cigarettes, ironically promoting them as the cigarettes that doctors smoke. Are you depressed or have anxiety? No problem. We've got the cure. In 1939, a mixture of herb salt and wine were just what the doctor ordered. These ads offer a glimpse into a time when marketing often disregarded health and ethics, providing a stark contrast to today's standards. What do you remember most through time? 